Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to week 12 of my pregnancy update. So before we get into this video, I just want to explain some things. As if you have been following um, me on my channel and my pregnancy videos, you may have wondered why it's been um, about two weeks since um, I filmed a pregnancy video. So it might have seemed to you like I missed week 12. Basically it's because I filmed my week 11 video at the end of my week 11 and then um, I went for my first ultrasound scan at the end of my week 12 and but what well I thought I was at the end of my week 12 I thought I was about uh, 12 weeks and six days so when I had the scan it actually turned out that I was only 12 weeks and one day so you know I was kind of thinking I was a week more than I was sort of thing so that's why I've basically waited a week so now we can be completely accurate um, with the videos. So I'm sorry if that's a bit confusing. So that's why. So let's get straight into symptoms for week 12 now. And please apologise my partner. He's literally cooking or something in there and banging about if you can hear that. So symptoms for week 12. I do feel like fatigue has come back a little bit. Um, I have been feeling more tired. Um, also nausea uh, and mainly actually more dizziness than nausea it's kind of been like a mix definitely that has amped up a little bit um, more than the previous weeks and also hot flushes I can't remember if I mentioned um, in my last uh, videos about hot flushes I don't think I did um, they weren't really you know too prominent um, but I had noticed through this pregnancy that I was getting hot flushes now and then, um, very like few and far between. Um, and I've noticed this week in week 12, I've had quite a few this week. Um, so yeah, you just get hot all of a sudden, very hot. I, I thought I had a fever actually. And so I took my temperature, but I didn't, it was just a hot flush. Um, so yeah, I've been having a bit more of that. Um... I think that's about it. My boobs aren't really sore anymore. The nipples maybe slightly, um, but not too bad and not nothing compared to the, the tenderness that they were a few weeks ago. Um, and yes, I think that's it for symptoms. So again, it hasn't been terrible. The nausea and that has kind of amped up a little bit, um, but nothing, nothing drastic. Okay, so now let's um, go and see you know baby i will be using um a new app to follow with baby now just because the app i was using before um the the weight and length of the baby in that app um once i had my ultrasound i realized it kind of didn't match up with where my baby was um so i'm now going with an app that kind of correlates if that's the right word with my baby so obviously every baby is going to be different um but yeah this app um seems to be you know along with what how my baby's growing so let's see that okay guys so as you can see we are on the different app now as this one is more accurate to what my baby actually weighs etc um now that i've had my scan and i know all of that so here is what baby looks like at week 12 you know literally looking like a proper human it has done for maybe the last week or so um but you know it's starting to get more in proportion now so this is quite long so i'm going to try and just read what i think is like the main bits so for week 12 it says the active growth phase has started your baby's body becomes more proportioned Bone tissue is developing, the limbs are getting uh, longer, the ribs are forming, and the skull and spine are strengthening. The brain is actively growing and increasing in size, and new reflexes and skills appear by the day. The respiratory system is almost formed. Um, let's see. The pancreas starts to secrete insulin. The baby girls have oocytes, which I believe are the eggs, and boys have a developing prostate gland. The milk teeth have finally formed. Your baby can already recognise the smell and taste of the food you eat. The mimic muscles are also developing, so now they can move their mouth, express their first emotions, frown, yawn and even smile. 
So how sweet is that? Our babies are learning to smile and things. It's just so sweet. And the fact that it um, can recognize the smell and taste of the food that we're eating, that's so amazing. Right, so I'm not as familiar with this app. So let's try and find, because I believe you can see, let's see the size of baby for week 12. So here it says, my baby is a plum or like a plum. So five and a half centimeters, pretty much, which um, when I had my 12 week scan, baby was measuring 5.5 centimeters. So that's why I've chosen this app as it's accurate to my baby. And it says weight 14 grams. So that's that. And then I believe here, yeah, you can see week 12, here is a 2D scan of a little baby and the 3D scan, which is so amazing. So there we go, guys. If you want to see the bump, um, here at week 12, that's what it's saying, that it's roughly the size there. Okay, so now we've seen baby and the updates and everything. So amazing. Um, the fact that it already can like recognize what we're eating. It's already going to start to smile now. It's just so beautiful. Um, right, so before we do the bump shot, let's see the ultrasound scan. Now I'm going to try and hide my, you know, personal information. So let's try and do this. So there is my little baby. As you can see, the brain there, the head, the nose, the mouth, the chin, the neck, the belly, and then a bit of um, a leg at the bottom there. So that's one photo. There we go. So there you can see a bit more of a close-up of the head. Then the brain. There we go. So there it's got its hand up near its face, so you can't really see the profile. You can see a little bit of um, a leg there. So yes, yeah, so happy with these photos. They're a bit creased because my daughter, I was trying to get a photo of her and the scans and she was just like screaming them all up. But yeah, so so amazing to see our baby for the first time it's absolutely surreal obviously if you've had your scan already as well you know it's just so amazing especially the first scan because i mean you still don't really have much of a bump you can't feel any kicks or anything so when you're looking at the screen and you can see your little baby moving about and things it's so surreal it's like is that really in my belly it just moved and i didn't feel anything um but yeah absolutely amazing i'm just so grateful that everything is okay um i had further um, well, they're kind of like routine um, checkups if you choose to have them, um, which was just um, a urine sample and some blood samples just to check for uh, Down syndrome, I think Edwards syndrome and something else. And that came back all clear, so, or low risk. So I'm just so, so grateful that, you know, everything is, is going well. I hope your pregnancy you know everyone that's watching i hope that your pregnancy is going well and it's safe and and it's all good um so yeah just amazing so now lastly let's do the belly shot so i do feel like i'm definitely in tighter clothes now i think i'm just starting to look more pregnant than just a bit chubby if you know what i mean i feel like it's just i'm just there um so yeah Let's see, shall we? Put it down. There we go. I'll go a bit further away, first of all, so you can see. Oops. That's going to be a bit, well, and then a bit closer. So there we go, definitely I feel like it's grown quite a bit and I feel like definitely bigger than my first um, pregnancy which I think is quite common to show earlier in your second or third or fourth pregnancies uh, or, or beyond. Um, so yeah and another thing actually 
if you are interested I'm going to insert a clip here of um, because we have an at home little heartbeat monitor like a little Doppler thing um, which we used for the first pregnancy and it worked out quite well um, and so I tried it before our ultrasound but I couldn't find the baby um, and so then after we had the ultrasound and the lady said that it was more to this side and down here and it, she kind of explained where it kind of was um, I tried the heartbeat thing again and we managed to find the heartbeat which is so sweet um, so yeah I will insert the little clip of that here so yes that's baby's little heartbeat um, again another amazing thing to hear um, so yeah and one more little update is we've decided to have an early gender scan so we're going to be having a private scan um, the beginning of October so I'll be um, at the end of my 16th week and yeah I can't wait obviously I'm happy with you know either or I just want it to be healthy um, but yes hopefully um, we had, an, we had a, a private early gender scan with my daughter and everything went well and they managed to find out what it was easily and everything. So hopefully this time, because I've heard of stories where they actually, the baby's not cooperating or moving in the right position and they can't actually find out what it is. I think then obviously they'd rescheduled because you paid for it. Um, but hopefully they can uh, see what it is. So yes, uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope your pregnancy is going well and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye.